Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look in and see whether this is love or lust. So what are the feelings involved here? Um, what is it that you know, you know you need to know about your person, their feelings for you, the situation? This is going to be a general reading, please be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay guys, take a moment, think about your romantic energy, your special person. And let's begin and see whether this is love, whether this is lust, or something else. Okay, um, interesting energies because I think this is someone who is afraid of their feelings. This is someone who is afraid of being emotionally vulnerable. This is someone who is afraid to lower and drop their guard and you know let them let them see you in a very emotionally vulnerable state. This is someone who I feel like is scared of what they feel for you. Is maybe this person is scared of just how much they love you, or so, or they might be scared of how much. Or how easily they could, you know, they see themselves falling in love with you, or how easily, if they allowed themselves, they could let, you know, they could love you. So this is someone who I feel like is afraid, um, someone who I feel like, you know, has very strong and firm boundaries in place, someone who I feel like is is scared to love. Maybe they haven't had a lot of luck in love. Maybe they've, you know, had their uh, fair share of heartbreaks and uh, emotional pain and rejection. Maybe this is someone who's, you know, had a lot of loss in their life and um, this is just a, a defense mechanism, like a protective mechanism here. But the presence of the um, lover's card, which is a P, the for a few readings now, tells us that, you know, this is, um, th there is strong romantic feelings involved here. This is someone who does think about you a lot, okay? I see this person, they might not really see things clearly, but I feel like there are signs that this person is either in love with you, but is scared to express that to you, or might even be scared to admit that to themselves. Or I feel like that, you know, this is someone who, they might be trying to fight off their feelings for you. Because it feels like there's some very deep feelings of affection here that this person has for you. And they've always had an attraction towards you, but I think that attraction here has always gone beyond the surface. And I think over in time it's turned into an emotional connection, an emotional attachment. This is someone who feels like you elicit a lot of positive and feel-good emotions in this person. This is someone who feels like a child again. This is someone who feels like you've awakened something in them. There's a lot of happiness, joy... And they feel excited here when they're around you. Their palms go sweaty, they go weak at their knees, they feel butterflies in their stomach. This is someone who feels all sorts of feelings around you. And, you know, it's thanks to a rush of hormones, right? This is someone who does feel very, very drawn to you. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of uh, sexual chemistry that's being stirred up here. But I think there's so much more as well. This person spends a lot of time like thinking about you, daydreaming about you. They're not able to get you off their mind here. Um, they want to open up to you. Okay, but I think that this is an individual who's scared to be open and, you know, completely open and vulnerable. I think that they have in time, slowly. I know it's been very slowly um, and maybe even painful for some of you. But in time, I, I feel like they have kind of let you, they've revealed like different amounts or different versions of themselves to you like their thoughts their feelings maybe you know what's happened to them in the past 
I think that if this person, you know, even further lowers their guard, you'll be able to see more of who this person is, their real and raw side. The lower their guard falls, I feel like the more love will build. That's what, how I see. I also feel like your person has trust issues. I think that they've taken advantage of in the past. And I don't think they're going to relax their defenses anytime soon, just saying. I think even though it's not that they don't, tr they don't trust you, but I think this person is just so scared of being hurt. Okay, and I think there is a, a little bit of trust, but I think this person is finding it really hard to um, to really open themselves up a little bit more, okay? Um, if you can, try to encourage them to open up a little bit more. Um, so, you know, but I think that they first need to build that level of comfort and trust. I think this could be so much more than what it is. Like, they already feel a very strong attraction. They already feel strong romantic feelings for you. But I think that, you know, love in itself is a very reinforcing, a very self-reinforcing emotion that the more you experience it, the stronger it grows, right? But I feel like for this person, they're sort of holding back and they're not really allowing themselves to experience that, you know, interaction between the two of you. And... I think that, you know, the the more they open up to you and allow themselves to feel that emotion, the stronger this connection, the stronger love will build. I feel like this person does, they're planning ahead with you. I think the both of you have, I'm seeing that you have late, uh, is it late night conversations that are keeping you awake? Or you guys really lose track of time when you're talking to one another. You're very intrigued by each other's mind and what's going on there. You're also very keen to plan ahead. I feel like the both of you, I don't know, do you guys talk about moving in together or going on a vacation as a couple? Or, you know, buying a home or moving to be closer to one another? This is someone who does accept you as, uh, as you are and you accept them as they are. I do feel like I do feel like your person is struggling though I feel like they're struggling with this you know with love and with this emotion I do feel like that this is I think what they feel for you feels very inspiring and it feels very boundless but I think it can grow and develop to become very a lot more stronger than it is and this person just wants to see you happy I feel like and this is how you know, you know, someone is in love with you because they just want to see you happy, okay? They just want to be able to contribute to your happiness or just always see you happy or see you doing good. Um, and when you're not happy, this person takes on some of your stress or some of your sadness, right? This, you know when some, someone loves you when they're bothered by your emotional state. And I think this person wants to get to know all sides of you and they want you to get to know all sides of them but I think you, your person is scared. In time I do feel like they're going to lower their guard. I also see that you know some of, sometimes some of you have a lot of arguments and look even the healthiest relationships have uh, you know involved disagreements or arguments so don't worry about that but I what you know I'm seeing that those arguments are teaching you more about each other and where your boundaries lie. And I'm seeing that this person always sticks around despite, you know, the conflict or the argument or the struggle here. It's not like they use that as an excuse to make an exit from the relationship. They're patient with their feelings for you. And that's love in its true form. You know, it, it's not something, sometimes it is something that can appear instantly, but it's not always the case. So you have to kind of spend quality time with one another and truly get to know each other for that to grow and develop. Um, it's all in the science, right? It's all in the science. You know, how someone behaves um, is, you know, is a result, is a direct result of what's really going on under the surface of someone's emotions. Okay, so, yeah, I feel like this person is, is in love with you or is falling in love with you. And I think this person is also scared of what they feel for you and what this could be. 
okay? And some people fear success just as much as they feel fear failure. And I feel like this person is scared, not that things will work, won't work out, but that things will work out. And they're just, I don't think they've been very lucky in love. And so this is foreign to them. So take things slow, don't rush the process. And I think you'll have something truly wonderful. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for listening, watching. Please show your support by liking, sharing, or subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Bye for now.